Hi guys, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV. And so many of you have asked me how I print the sentiments I put on my cards on the computer. And then once I do, how I know how to cut and size them to fit on my cards. Um, I use Word and I have version 7 of Windows and it's the version of Word that came with that. What you see on the screen is Menu Nouvelle, which is one of my favorite fonts. I've been asked that also, which is my favorite. I think this is one of my favorites. And it is at 22 points, as you see it on the screen. And what I do before I would go ahead and print my whole sentiment out to make sure it was the right size for my card, I might just type one word and go ahead and print it out and do it on copy paper so that I don't waste my card stock and my ink and then I can take it over to my card and see how it looks and then I know if I need to go up or down in size and I'm going to go ahead and print this out and I'll show you how I cut it so we'll just go up here to print and we'll just do quick print I have a pretty good printer. It's not an expensive one. It's just a Canon that I picked up at Walmart. And it is also a scanner and a copier. And it will do color or black and white. And it does a great job. Okay, this is what I've printed out on my piece of paper. And we'll take it over here to my work desk and get out my trimmer and I'll show you how I cut it. Now this may seem a little large for a card, but we won't know until we cut it. And I have a regular Fiskars trimmer. It didn't cost much at all, and I've been using it for probably six or seven years. I think I got it for like $14.95. I'm not sure what you pay for them now. It's not expensive. Uh, it has an arm on it. And I do have to change the blades from time to time because I cut a lot of cardstock and they do get dull. And I'm going to get this in as close as I can. But over here on this side where the channel is, what I will do, let's see if I can do this and get it in the shot where you can see it. I'll go ahead and slide in my paper with my uh, printed sentiment on it. And I will take the paper inside where the channel is of the trimmer. And I don't know if you can see that, but I stop with the words right here at the edge. That's going to be hard for you to see. All right, now see, that's too far. I take it right down, so it's a, right at the edge. And I make sure that it's even right up here. So we don't cut it crooked. And that's if I don't need any white. You know, just a, a minimal amount of white at the top. Let me lay this down and cut it and I'll show you. See, I've cut off that much. And you can see, I do have some white at the top, but not much. Then, I just turn it over and do the same thing move the blade on the bottom side of what I've cut. Now here's my paper. You can see my words and I put them in just until you can't see the printing. I make sure it's even at the top and then I cut it. And this is what I come up with. Now I'm going to have to trim the sides. I'll do the same thing. I'll put it in until I just barely can't see the, the print. I'll put that in again. I'm just afraid y'all can't see this very well. What I'm doing. Whoops! <laughs> it fell out in the floor. Trying to get a better angle with my trimmer. Okay, so we're going to take this, now we're going to trim off the ends, and we want all of it to be even. I hope you can see that. 
see there's my word you can see the end I'm going to slide it back under till you just cannot see it just barely and cut turn it this way do the same thing you can see the word line it up and then just take it through until you just barely can see it trim and there you can see it's even all the way around very simple to do and if you needed it let's say if it's for your inside sentiment and you need to leave more at the bottom you just go ahead and leave what you need to write your um, your name or whatever you're going to say other than your printed sentiment and you may want to leave this much at the top. I hope this has helped. I know it's been difficult to see and it's difficult for me to explain when I can't really show you in person but that's all I do. I just line my paper up with my trimmer either this edge this little center piece or this edge and that's how I cut my sentiments. Hope it's helped guys. You have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.